So now we're going to learn how to dip the lady. This is a very, very common um, dip that we do on the dance floor, either social dancing or in choreography. So what we need to know is how to do it properly. Let's learn the famous dip. So we're going to go from here, first position. I'm going to go back to you so you are copying me. So as you can tell, she's going to wrap around my waist yes and then we want to make sure that her right leg which is her base leg stay on that position is uh in between my legs so i'm gonna go center on my way driving all my way down straight then i'm gonna grab under here under her right arm yes so if i come from the closed position this is the same motion so she comes here my left hand, I have a grip. Good. Now, second is that she's touching my body. So I'm, we're on perpendicular position. Her right hip is touching my center. So we'll go from here. We have that connection. Now, my right arm is going to go under her left shoulder blade. That's right. We go from here and we are slowly going to release our arms and also we're going to change our weight so we're going to change our weight slowly to our left and we're going to bend it slightly yeah now once we have that weight change slowly we're going to release our hands boom what does that mean i'm gonna straighten my arms yes bring her back up so once we're here on this position right we have the weight change. Her head is still up here. Slowly, we're going to release by straightening our arms. So when I say release, means we're going to string, uh, straighten our arms. Yes? So we'll go from here. Boom. We have this connection. Change my weight from the center to my left. Then I slowly straighten my arms. Boom. Now, here we need to have our back straight. Common mistake. We lean forward. Look how my weight already is too much. So I have to be able to keep my back straight and we can look at her or we can look to the front, but most likely look at her. Now to bring her up, I change my weight and I slowly pick up my arms all the way to the center or to her facing you. Okay. So three things to look at. Weight change. Yeah. Make sure that her body's contact with me back straight by releasing the arms to help her up slowly change my weight, bring my arms together. Now we're going to try the front angle. So we're going to go ahead and put it here in the front. So we have a different view. Remember right arm here, left arm under. We are touching here, weight on center. Now slowly transfer to the left and slowly releasing the arms all the way to the down position. And as you can see, my right leg is pointed. Yeah. Some people stays down and there's nothing wrong with that. But we want to make sure that we have a nice line on my toe as well, my right foot. And we're going to Put the weight on the big toe, okay? Now, if we're from here, we gotta, we gotta be able to pick up that heel a little bit, not too much, we don't wanna be up here. So a little bit still under my knee. What does that mean? It's that my heel is under my knee, it's not above my knee. So keep it down a little bit with a little bit of a twist. And that is my position to come back up. Very good. Now we're going to try from the side angle. So you have 
a side angle view as well. Why not? You're here. Boom. Nice. You can see the contact. We're going to go slowly down, transferring my weight. Nice and control. Yeah. Bring her right back up. Boom. Facing you. Very good. And there you have your famous dip. So now the leads part for our famous dip, okay? So I'm gonna start facing the back so you can see. We're gonna face our partner and what's gonna happen is with our right arm, we're gonna reach around the body, which as you can see is gonna make me pivot to the right. Now what we wanna keep in mind is the inside of our legs here with technique, right? We don't wanna just move and leave our legs separated. We wanna think of this energy pulling them, squeezing them together as we turn, okay? So that's the first part. We squeeze and we turn. From here, you're gonna think about this being your base leg, your right leg. Whenever we do a dip or anything that we're coming off of both weights of our legs and over our normal center, right? So pulling back, you have to think about always having that base leg. So that's your strong leg that's gonna hold the majority of your weight. Mostly like 80% here, 20% is gonna be a little bit on that left leg, helping with the extension for your balance, okay? So again, we're gonna go here, we're gonna rotate, squish those inner thighs together, and here we're already plieing and bending into that leg and our weight's going in there, okay? Very good. Another thing you wanna think about for a technique is those knees. They don't have to be completely touching, but again, that's also gonna play a role in the squeeze of your inner thigh. You want those knees to come closer together. We don't want them spread out when we're doing this. That commonly happens when we're doing our dips, so we want to try to keep it more elegant and keeping that together as much as possible. There are dips where we purposely might leave a foot out and do a bend, but the same thing's happening. We're still pulling that energy together versus it being out like a cowgirl, right? We want it to be nice and elegant, okay? So we're twisting. From here, we're gonna bend, and what's gonna happen with your cambrai? Whenever we do a cambrai, you need to think about your hips go the opposite direction. So if my weight's gonna go back, my hips are gonna come forward so that I get a counterbalance. From here, you can do this with your partner or do it on your own if you feel strong enough in that base leg. That's the goal we want to get to is to be able to do it on our own. So we want to come here, we want to push those hips forward. From here, we would do a cambrai. And we pull back up, we're pulling from our chest. Now, if you don't feel comfortable going down on your own, you're gonna use your partner here. So we're already gonna start thinking about bringing that right hand, twisting it around his waist. From here, we're already on that base leg, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go down, in this case, his arms around us, okay? So we're gonna put our hand in the same position, right behind the shoulder blade. Because we're doing a cambrai, what happens is your arm slides. We still stay connected, right? But we slide down the arms. So from here, my base leg, same thing, we're bending. And now we're doing cambrai, so those hips come forward, right? And we go down. Very nice, but our weight's still over that weight. As we come up, lead by the chest and then our head, right? One common mistake that happens when we do these dips is we like to call it the vampire, is we go down so pretty and then when we come up, our neck gets stiff and we come up all one piece, right? So the trick is thinking of your chest first, right? So we go down, lead with my chest and then my head comes up last, okay? Um, another thing to think about for the technique of this dip is that you always think up and over, so up and over. So you wanna feel like there's like a pole here behind you, and instead of just throwing yourself back, you always think string from the top of your head, and you're thinking it's a pull and down. You're gonna get a lot nicer shape and a better cambrai and more control over your weight, right? So now we're going up and over versus just throwing ourselves back, which is very common, right? And our weight's really heavy. So again, when I'm practicing that, I'm thinking, breathe. That helps to go, breathe. Then I go down, lead with my chest, and come up. And then the last part of the technique for the lady is that leg, right? This is our base leg, but our left leg, what happens is as we go down, watch what happens. It sneaks out in front of me, rotated out in a turnout on my pinky toe. So watch when I go down, I'm gonna go string up, breathe, go down and look at my pinky toe, it comes out and I'm keeping my knees energy together, right? They don't have to touch, but together. Then I pull with my chest, 
and look at my foot, comes back and he rotates me towards him, ready to go for my basic, okay? So there you have your technique for your dip. You can practice this definitely on your own if you're not comfortable with your partner or with a chair or a wall, anything to give you that stability and really think about those pieces because again, we call it the famous dip because everyone does it, but everyone does not do it properly. So we really want you guys to understand the techniques to really protect your body, do it the right way, not get injured and really to enjoy it a lot better. You know, when we have the right technique, it's a lot more, um, a lot more smooth and a lot easier to do and you can go a little bit farther when you do the proper technique. Some common mistakes and tips. So the biggest common mistake with the famous dip is for the lead, bringing your weight forward with the follow. So like Harold explained earlier, look, when he brings his weight, there's a lot of weight going forward and that's a typical mistake. So that tip is always remembering, think of counterbalance. You always want like a ball in between us. If you can think of it like that when you do a dip, because counterbalance, if I'm going back, you have to have that energy back as well, right? And that helps us uh, making that more controlled, right? Um, the other common mistake for now the follow is us just throwing ourselves back. So we think, oh, the guy's got me, it's all okay, I'm just gonna go for it, when really we have to be in control of our body. So a good tip is to practice this on your own, that you have that ability to go back and come back up on your own so that when you go with your partner, you're still in control. He's helping you, of course, get that extension a little bit more and helping you be able to go down and up a little bit faster and controlled. But really, you're under your weight and you understand the technique, okay? Um, the other common mistake for the ladies is that we separate our legs or we end up bringing that leg forward because when we go back, we just have this natural, um, desire to bring this leg up and we see that a lot this right but if you think about it it's a counterbalance again if i'm going to go back something has to come forward so my hips are coming forward to counter my weight going back and my leg is coming forward do you see that reach that's again countering my weight going back so again just thinking of counterbalance with these things okay these dips are a lot of fun um, but even more fun when you do them technically correct so really think about it it's not going to happen overnight so be patient go through the videos practice it um, it's also a lot of muscle right in our legs and our abs for the guys really holding those chests up the arms that strength so over time it is building muscle so be patient with yourself but really enjoy these dips so now we're gonna learn how to put that famous dip into our basic. So let's face the back here. Good. We're going to do it for the full count of eight on the, on the dip, okay? We're gonna do it on the one. So basic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on one, I'm transferring my weight. She's gonna sneak her hand through, as you can see. And then we'll go one, two, three, four. That's when I get down, all the way to the floor. Now bring her back. Five, six, seven, eight. I tap again. So notice that when I went down, two, three, four, we are here on the end. I, that's when I straighten my arms fully. Now, as soon as the five count starts, I start changing my weight. So I go into my right leg. Five, six, seven, I have my full weight transfer, and eight I tap to be able to keep dancing on my one. Okay, very good. Let's try it one more time. Basic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. I keep dancing. Now let's do it from the front. So the ladies, I'm gonna put the back, very good. We're gonna face the back. Then we're gonna go basic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now let's do it from the side. So you got a nice side view as well. Seven basic. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We tap and we keep going on our basic. So there you have how to do the famous dip on the count of one, dipping, coming back for a full count of eight, doing the dip and coming back on the eight to go again on the one. Now let's do it from the open position into the dip. So we're gonna go basic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on one, two, three, four, we're going to start opening. So what we want to do is we want to push out to the side and start getting away from her to be able to open the position to our front on one, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. So we'll go from here. Seven, eight, basic, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now to open the position, I am going to compress on my left arm on the one so that she knows that she has to step back on the, on the basic. So we go seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Here I prepare and now I'm gonna bring her back into uh, that dip with the turn. So we're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. On eight, she's hooking into that position so that we are able to go down on one, two, three, four, and back six, seven, eight into the basic as well. So we have the full exercise that's going to be basic and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Opening two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. We keep dancing. So now we're gonna do it from the front. We're gonna do the same position. We're gonna do open uh, open uh, position, basic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now notice that seven, eight, she's hugging around my waist. So watch out for that right arm so that we can lift it a little bit, ours, so that we can connect and then go down on the one, two, three, four, come back, six, seven, eight, basic again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. And let's take a look at this side angle. From the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push the side, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from here, go down slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. We have the three angles with our famous dip and how to put it in while moving and how to put it in while opening the position from the open position and coming in with the turn, which is a bit more complicated, but looks nice too. So now we're gonna be doing the famous dip for the follow using our basic step, we're gonna give you two examples. So first, starting with the first example in our closed position basic, we're gonna start with our basic step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, remember that when we learned the dip, we were already in this position and we twisted. So now we have to do that as we step our one. So we have to go one. From here, he's gonna lead that. Now we lift up to do the dip. One, two, three, four, five, six. We gather facing him, seven, eight, and one. Now, we always suggest that you gather and really get that bachata basic when you can. In this case, you're doing a full count of eight back and up, so you have time to gather. But it's not wrong if, for example, musically or the way you're being led, you might be held back a little bit longer to go, for example, 
five, six, seven, eight, one. And you get on your one without gathering, doing the tap. We just like to suggest to gather when you can, okay? So from there, we'll do with the partner. Facing this direction, close position, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist one, two, three, four, chest, five, six, gather, eight, and one, two, three, four. Very good, we're gonna do it facing this angle for you. Same thing, close position, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twist, one, and that hand goes under, two, three, four, lead with the chest, six, face him, gather, one, two, three, four. Great, last direction, we're gonna do it from this side. Now remembering all of those pieces that we lift up and over as we bring that leg through, we keep that connection and that energy pulling with our inner thighs so we don't have this look, right? So trying to pull that together. So thinking of all those things, leading with our chest, facing him and gathering. So here we go, last time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Very good. So now our second option, we're gonna come into this dip through a turn. So facing the back, we're gonna start our basic open position now. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, he's gonna lead us out. And the reason we know is because of our frame. So this frame is gonna tell me where to go. He's going to bring this arm in which, what does that do? It forces me to turn to my right. He's then gonna let go of this arm, which is gonna force me to open. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four. From here, you have options for hand styling. You can simply open, right, a swoop, and over your head, or we can do up from here, right? So we can let go, we can come up our head, and again, down or up. I prefer something touching the body with bachata, Styling, this is a little bit more salsa, so something touching your body, or he can open it and we can just simply touch your body, come down and go in. So that's some options, whatever you're most comfortable with. So from there we go one, two, three, and four. From here, watch, without him, it's a basic turn first. So we're going five, six, seven, that's your basic turn, but look, I'm not facing my partner, he hasn't come around, I need to find him. So on my eight, I do that extra half turn, ready now, look, to go for the dip. So let's do that with him. So we open up, again, one, two, three, and four, basic turn, five, six, look for your partner. From here, do you see he lifted his arm? That tells me I need to go around, I'm already doing that twist, and I'm getting ready, he brings his arm in to dip me, I go one, two, three, four, chest, Five, six, gather your eight. Very good, we'll do it facing the other direction so you can see. So starting in open position, and one, two, three, four, five, six, lead says out. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, look for your partner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gather one. Very good. And last angle, doing the same thing. And one, two, three, four, five, six, lead us out. One, two, three, four. Basic turn, seven, find your partner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. And there you have your famous dip with different options using your bachata basic. So now we're gonna do the exercise with counts. We're gonna do both options starting with the first. We're gonna face each angle so you can follow along. You can stay in the same angle for yourself if that's more comfortable. And we're going to do first in the closed position with our dip and then we're gonna do each direction, so three times. We're gonna come back to the beginning and then we're going to do our open position where we open and turn in, okay? So here we have with counts starting from the back. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic, one, two, three, four. Back to the start, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic to the back. Two, three, four, for the second open position now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four, open position, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, open position, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three to the back, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, and there you have your exercise with counts for your famous dip. A buscar en otras partes, amor. Oh, yo sé que en ese escenario igual jugué mi papel. Down. 